they came out with the Yamaha R7, which is based on the MT-07, has that same twin engine. But now they've come out with this new Yamaha R9 based on the MT-09. Is that a game changer? Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. But whatever motorcycle you're riding out here, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe so you don't have a real effed up day. And I have links to all of my gear, like this lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, my Sadichi jacket, shorty glove. Links to all my gear is in the description and comment section of this video. I don't want to show off in front of that chick. <laughs> I was getting ready to bust the willy. <laughs> But I didn't want to be one of those D-bags. But... Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, feels good out here. <laughs> I'm going to ask a question to you guys. Why did they come out with this Yamaha R7? And why are they, talking about coming, or why are they coming out with this R9? That's a question I have. What is the purpose of these bikes? Because we have already so many cool tracks. I know they got rid of the Yamaha YZFR6, which was the amazing track weapon that people still love today. But that R7 will not replace the R6, I'm sorry. And even the R, this new YZFR9 is not going to replace the R6. Yes. That engine is amazing on the MT-09. Oh no! <laughs> but the engine had lots of great torque and bottom end and mid-range on the bike. And I really enjoyed riding that bike. But I grew to not really like it as much because I don't know, I just didn't really gel with the bike. Now that they've come out with this new Yamaha R9 with the MT-09 engine, and it, it looks cool, kind of looks like the R1 look, uh, just like the R7. And uh, I, I just don't understand what the purpose is, you know? Why? <laughs> the, the question I have why is because the bike, yes, the bike looks more pretty than the MT-09. And, uh, you know, I, I get that. But it's uncomfortable, man. I mean, what? You're, 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 you're in the race, more of the race position with the sport bike, you know? And uh, it's not a bike that you're going to be touring around the streets on here. So what exactly is the bike for? Is it just because it's a cooler looking sport bike that it's got a great street engine in it? I, I just can't figure it out. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Why? Uh, would I consider getting the new R9 or the R7? No, not really, man. I know that it appeals to like a lot of you new riders out there. You see the bike, you're like, oh, that's cool. It's more pretty than the uh, you know, MT-09. And it's got that awesome engine and everything. But I'll tell you, you'll, you'll probably enjoy yourself more on the MT-09. You know what I'm saying? Because it's in a more upright seating position, it's more comfortable. But I'll tell you guys that you would probably be better off just getting a supermoto. <laughs> I know I've talked about it in many videos and I preach it every time. But you know, I've had a lot of different bikes, guys. I've had the sport bikes. Out of all those bikes, this 450 supermoto was the most fun ever. That you can cruise on, rip on, throw around the corners, go ride off-road. Cheap to insure, cheap, uh, easy to fix yourself. You don't worry about scratching the bike up. It's just total bliss. You know? Total bliss. Busting wheelies. Feeling good out here, baby. <laughs> Extra good out here. So you tell me, guys. Tell me in the comments. Why would you buy a Yamaha R7 or a Yamaha R9? Please tell me. What is the purpose 
of those bikes besides they look cool and it's got cool engines on them what is the point when you already can get an mt07 or get an mt09 that's much more comfortable and you know i i just don't i don't get it i don't get these bikes you know yamaha you may come out with some really amazing bikes i love all your bikes all your bikes are amazing but the the worst thing you did was get rid of the yamaha v max and the r6 why would you get rid of the r6 which is an iconic sport bike probably one of the most famous sport bikes out of the japanese motorcycles that people love and then get rid of it i don't know i know super sports and super bikes are not selling like they used to because we have so many of these uh you know street fighter type motorcycles now but still that r6 was like a renowned track weapon man and i think they still sell it in track form but they're not going to redo they're not going to remake it man they're not I, it's probably because of the emissions standards and all that i get it um they you know they don't want to revamp a bike that's not really selling that well it doesn't make sense for their bottom line and i get that you know what i'm saying but yamaha is so so rich <laughs> that you you know what i'm saying they, they can get by and use that as a tax write-off but I, I, did, I, I just don't get it you know i got rid of my mt09 um just because i felt it was kind of too budget uh and i think they did make some new improvements with the new mt09 but to come out with this r9 i i don't know man i don't know guys <laughs> but i've been trying to come up with a new motorcycle to buy for a long time guys and it's been really really tough really tough um because like i said you got this bike i was getting ready to bust a wheelie but that car is coming so oh well oh <laughs> uh, i don't know man i don't know dude i but uh i don't know dude I'm just having so much fun on my supermoto but anyways guys uh leave a comment below i'd love to hear from you i want to get your thoughts and see what you guys have to say about it i um, really appreciate all you guys uh, make sure you subscribe to my all of a motorcycle channel make sure to hit the thumbs up really helps my channel share this video comment uh, make sure to check out my other channel bug out moto until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.